What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing season two of CW's Walker starring Jared Bedelecki. Um, now, after uh, the show coming off the success of season one, it got renewed for season two, and now the major plot line for uh, this show, you know, after you know uh, Walker putting the, the bad guy away in the last remaining episodes of season one. Uh, we, we, we kind of pick off where that thing's left off and now uh, and, and this uh, main plot line of the show um, the walkers are kind of caught up in this long family feud with this uh, family known as the Davidsons and whatnot and they go over like the layers of um, the feud between that in fact it covers the whole entire season of the show that's the whole main plot line you know they are going to have your I guess uh, villains of the week you know on each uh, uh, episode and whatnot but the main plot line for this one is uh, the walkers versus the Davisons and whatnot because uh, there's like this uh, storyline where like this girl walker was seen um, they were in this barn and the you know the dad was uh, gonna go ahead and check on if he was in there and then you know the barn ends up burning down and then it you know someone gets um killed and whatnot and then the davisons get end up uh, driven out of uh that area of texas and they'd be gone for decades so you know uh the davisons return in this season and they all have different occupations one of them is uh working within the texas rangers department in a higher authority you know and then um you have uh, the other uh davison characters that be feuding with like the mother and the father you know uh the other walkers you know in the show uh but yeah the, the, this this family feud man it's it's real real uh, out there man like they're you know there's 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 numerous times where the characters are trying to um make peace but then things heat up and then the feud gets uh to a boiling point and whatnot and then each characters are making false accusations you have certain characters uh out of the show between the davisons and walkers trying to double cross each other trying to get up one and on each other and whatnot uh apparently i guess there was a portion of the land a great portion of the land that was owned by uh the davisons and they end up trying to like uh come to some sort of deal where uh who's gonna take the land who's gonna take the ranch who's gonna take the farm and whatnot uh but no man like for real this <laughs> this feud man this family feud between the walkers and davisons it runs pretty deep on this show you know uh other than that you have it where um i guess walkers trying to tie up some loose ends from uh some of the characters from season one because he played that character Duke, where he was undercover and whatnot, so he's trying to um, tie up some loose ends on that, while also trying to um, investigate uh, this other case revolving uh, another uh, character that uh, deals in a bunch of uh, shady business and whatnot, you know, and then a lot of other uh, things get uncovered for season two that you may or may not see him coming and whatnot uh but i want to say like it's a good mixture of i guess like uh action and a good mixture of drama now if you're a fan of uh the of his of cordell walker's uh partner from the first season mickey ramirez played by lindsey morgan uh, unfortunately she ends up leaving the show halfway through the season and uh, after she exited the show they had to uh I guess cast a new character to play uh, Cordell Walker's partner. So they introduce uh, Ashley Reyes, who plays um, what's her name, Cassie uh, Cassie Perez. Cassie Perez ends up being Cordell Walker's new uh, Ranger partner, and she's like the opposite of Lindsay Morgan, like complete opposite. She's like a female version of Cordell Walker. She she does things like her way uh she's very thorough she's very physical you know where um mickey ramirez was more like doing things by the books and you know 
having it down right down to the T when it comes to um, solving each cases. Not to mention, she pretty much knew how to get Cordell Walker under control. Uh, but but yeah, Cassie Perez, man, she has a very loud personality in comparison to uh, her um, predecessor or counterpart, uh, Mickey Ramirez, played by Lindsay Morgan. But yeah, Ashley Ramirez basically steps in as the, the new Leroy role as uh, Cordell Walker's uh, partner for uh, season two. And, you know, I tell you, man, uh, yeah, I didn't really like her at first, man. It took me a, a few episodes to, like, warm up to her because I got so used to uh, Mickey Ramirez's character from season one, you know. But fortunately, um, Lindsay Morgan left the show uh, midway through uh, season two and she really didn't state why I guess the only thing she really said is that she was leaving the show for her personal reasons you know so I don't know maybe someday uh, Lindsay Morgan might return to the Walker uh, TV show uh, someday you know as Mickey Ramirez I could only hope and whatnot but other than that, she's been pretty much working on all these other projects outside of television. And she had to step away from um, Walker for her own personal reasons. But other than that, I, I'd say that, you know, this is a pretty good, uh, solid season two. You know, uh, you, do, you do finally come to a conclusion between the whole uh, family feud between uh, the, the Walkers and the Davidsons and whatnot the, the heated rivalry between them that dates back like i guess decades decades ago and whatnot you know and you also get to uh have like all these other characters that get introduced for season two and whatnot you know because you get you can focus on walker you focus on his his partner uh cassie perez and then of course you know uh walker's uh children and whatnot uh but overall you know i, I thought it was uh <laughs> i thought it was a pretty crazy season for season two you know not to mention the way um season two ends is on that whole uh cliffhanger involving a case that a walker was working on uh by some uh fellow rangers that they pretty much were doing this investigation behind closed doors and they had it where one of them like had had like they faked her death and whatnot. So, uh, you know, you're trying to get deeper into that, but then you know that that really doesn't get resolved. I can only think that's probably gonna be like maybe the major plot line for uh, season three of the show, which I will probably be covering later on and whatnot. But overall, I did enjoy uh, season two. It, like I said, they kind of upped the ante for season two. Uh, like I said, you know, and, and, you know, like I said, you get some action, you get some drama, you get some uh, more character development and more character backstories and whatnot. Uh, but, but yeah, overall, I did enjoy it. Now, did you guys enjoy uh, season two of CW's Walker? Um, are you guys uh, excited for season three and currently watching season three right now? Uh, let me know. Comment below. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys around for the next video now. Y'all have a great day now. Peace.